In this video, I'm going to do a quick explainer of polygroups in Unreal Engine 5.0's modeling mode. So let's say I start out and I make a box shape, and then I start the polyed tool. I'm going to be able to select the faces of that box and, you know, edit them, move them around, do operations. If I add one of the default cubes to the scene, and I start polyed, you'll see that I can't select the faces. There's just one big uh, green cube, and you'll see there's an error message up here that the object only has a single polygroup. So what's a polygroup? A polygroup is basically a way to group triangles together into faces uh, that's stored on the mesh, but it's based on the mesh triangles. So if I go into box again, and I add some subdivisions to my box, now if I were to use, say, the, we'll look at the wireframe or look at the triad tool I'd see now, you can see there's four quads here on top, but if I start the polyed tool, it's still selecting the whole face. That's because all those triangles have been grouped into a polygroup. So if I go back to the cube tool again, or box tool, and I change this polygroup mode to per quad instead of per face, per box face, now when I go into polyed, you'll get what you expect, which is that you can select each of those, uh, each of those quads. And the polyed tool has tools like, for instance, decompose, which will split that into the triangles. And then I can regroup those by selecting these two and doing a merge. And now I've sort of created a new polygroup and I can edit the shape in a different way uh, without uh, sort of retopologizing it. So um, the, the reason that we are using polygroups in Unreal is because none of our imported meshes have qu have polygons, have quads or n-sided polygons. They're all triangle meshes. So this is a table. This has been a sample object in Unreal for many years, right? And if we look at the wireframe, we can see that it has some quad-like structure, but it's all just triangles. The mesh is fully triangulated. Uh, so if we go to PolyEd, of course, there's nothing there to edit. But we have a tool called group gen in the attribute section. And what this tool does is it basically looks at this mesh and analyzes it and can create polygroups in different ways. So here I'm using face normal deviation, which is a good mode to use on kind of low poly models. And basically it looks at the angle between faces and tries to group them that way. So I can drag up this slider up and down and you see that some of the quads get detected at certain levels or they disappear and we get sort of higher level uh, grouping. So I'm just gonna go with this and then once I've done that, I can go the group gen, I can go back to polyed, and those are now selectable regions, right? So I can grab this interface here and scale it up to make it bigger, or maybe this ring here and extrude it. So this is a way to basically take your imported meshes and edit them. Uh, there's other kinds of group gen options. So if I go back into group gen, I could change this to say, you know, I, I can look at this and see that it's finding some groups and I could try and get this setting. What I want to do is do something to these C cushions. Now in this case, those are separate UV islands. So I can switch to from UV islands and it'll make the groups from the UV islands. So I'm going to take that. Uh, now if I go back to polyed, of course, I can select those regions. Uh, I'm going to, in this case, use the material edit tool. So this is a more of a brush based tool. I can you know, do painting, but I can switch the selection mode here to all in group, make the brush a bit smaller. And now when I click, it's going to select all the connected triangles in those groups. So now I've selected those groups. I'm going to go over, over here. I'm going to add another material. Let's say uh, drop blue in there. And then I'm going to change the active material and click assign active material. And now I've basically made those uh, regions of that mesh based on the polygroups, a different material. Uh, okay, so s lots of other tools in modeling mode are based off of this polygroup uh, concept, and we have other tools for creating the polygroups. I'll cover those in future videos. Thanks for watching.